Hey, what is up, guys? It's Raptor with a shotgun, and I'm back playing some Tomb Raider: The Definitive Edition. Um, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to replay this again because for some reason YouTube has taken down some of my videos, and have I've had no explanation why they've been taken down. The videos that have been taken down is a few of my Duke Nukem videos and Tomb Raider: The Definitive Edition Part One, and a few other videos. I haven't really checked which videos have been taken down, but I'm attempting to re-upload a few videos. So I'm gonna start with my favorite game of all them all, Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider I've loved since the beginning and I'm really gonna, I can't wait to finish this one and I'm gonna then buy the Rise of the Tomb Raider which is the second or the, it's either the sequel or the prequel to this game, I can't remember which order they go, but it wasn't until earlier that I was looking at what's the difference between, whoop, let me just qu Thank quickly skip Laura this, uh, it wasn't until I quickly, it wasn't until I looked on the internet and looked at what the difference was between the definitive edition and the original edition. The, the, the only difference between the standard edition and definitive edition is that the definitive edition has next is for the next gen consoles such as the Xbox One and the PS4 and includes all DLCs so customizable uh, cosmetic DLCs and stuff like that. So I may as well just get on with the game now. I will delete my save from last time, so I'm starting from a mis uh, fresh game, anyways. So first thing I'll do is um, new game. And I'll delete that now quickly. But I also want to put on in the options is make sure that subtitles are on, which will be in display. So let me just make sure subtitles are on, the language is in English, and the brightness is on. Okay. I may have to turn that brightness up halfway through. It's on difficulty. Doesn't matter what that's all on. Voice chests, I have no idea what voice chests are. But four are on this game, anyways. I know what they are, but I don't know what they're for on this game. Same, same, same. Perfect. Everything else is perfect. Alright then, let's start a new game. Um, I know there's a big cutscene right at the beginning of the game. I will not, I try not to talk through it because I don't like it when people do that in videos. So I'll start it now and I won't talk through it. Obviously, I'm not going to be a pussy and play on the hardest difficulty. So, hardest difficulty, here I come. So, and now I'll let you watch the, now I'll let you watch the video. A famous explorer once said that the extraordinary is in what we do, not who we are. I'd finally set out to make my mark, to find adventure, but instead, adventure found me. moments when life flashes before us we find something something that keeps us going something that pushes us
Okay, so I'm back after that action pack um, intro to the game. Obviously, swinging is to press the left stick back and forth to create motion. But after that intro, uh, I would have thought that instead of calling for two people, I thought you would just call Rhea. It would have taken less time and to just call one person. So let's actually start the game. So let's create motion and see what we can do. Well, it looks like we're going to push Death into the fire. Which is going to be a main mechanic of the game, anyways, because we're push a lot of things in the fire. Right, let's, and there goes the skeleton. <laughs> Poor bastard. Right. Okay, so this is right. So now they've changed the camera for motion, so it looks like we're gonna have to swing side to Uh, yeah, because not only are you gonna land on your head, but you're also gonna like try and catch yourself on fire. Right, that should be enough to catch it on fire. Right, let's go. Oh god damn it, no 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 this part, not this part. God damn it, why is oh, I hate this part. Oh god damn. Uh, and congratulations, you've now contracted something like oh, what do you get from Rusty Metal? Is it HIV? Yeah, I think it's HIV you get from Rusty Metal. Even she's now contracted Because <laughs> she's not just being impaled, but she's also gonna go through milky look she's in a place where there's fucking bones lying on the ground. For a game that was made in 2003, uh, not 2003, 2013, oh this game looks surprisingly good still. And that guy was not there when I, when we camped, when we were being dragged through here the first time. Right, can we drag this? Yep, let's grab this torch. Is that a dude? Or a chick? Um, I think it's a dude. Yeah, I think it's a boy. I think it's a guy. Right, can we avoid these so they don't make sound? That wasn't too late, because I couldn't even hear the headphones on. Is it on fire then? Yeah, okay. That's some really, like, densely packed wood. But, uh, is this Spanish Congress Hamlet? Nice. Easter egg. Spanish Congress Easter egg in the game. There is no way he would have heard it. Oh, but damn. I see red barrels and red barrels in video games mean ex oh, okay. But as I was saying, red barrels in video games mean explosions. So, let's do this. Cool guys, don't look at explosions. Right. So if that guy did not hear that explosion, but heard the like me knock over a pot. And that guy has some serious ear problems. Oh, never mind. I, I just want to keep behind him. Come on, come on, let's do this. Let's do this. Come on. Get out. Fuck you. No, you like you tied me up. Why the fuck would I? I always tie me up, helping me, you asshole. Fuck you, asshole. Yeah. Yeah, because all those skulls are like. Actually, that, that skull day with the Spanish helmet looks like he's happy. Looks like he's actually smiling. <laughs> it looks like he's laughing his head off. It's like, you asshole. Okay, so. Right. Oh, yeah, like. Is this 7 up? <laughs> is that a kind of 7 up on the side? Okay, fair enough. Um, wow, I really didn't know fire does that on, fire did that on the ceiling. I thought you would have burnt yourself in that shit. Right. It never jumps again moment is heavy and pulled on the water right now now nope okay we can go through there without um, any more jump scares because I think this game's gonna try and make us a jump scare a few times force of will find a way out okay so it looks like it's gonna dance the flame again yeah so we got red barrels sea mine uh, Tide. Well, I don't know what that is but there's a sea mine here we got explosive barrels more sea mines that's a shit ton of sea mines. So we've got two sea mines and a few uh, explosive barrels. More fire. Hey. Good. Good point for having fire. Right, so let's put... Let's just burn these. Kind of this is something that's flammable. We're going to look for those throughout the game. So what's that going to do? That drops. Bang. Shit. Okay. So it looks like these things that are flown through are also burned. Did we burn? Here we got like, material on them. Right, so let's set a few of these on fire. Or maybe we just gotta set one on fire. Yeah, we might have to just set one on fire, but let's do this. Right. So first thing I want to do is swiggy scooty. I 
came for that booty. And jump. Yeah, right. Okay. Oh, it's it good. It did. It caught a few more. So couldn't that? No, no, no. I was gonna say, couldn't those barrels set down far? They go into the waterfall, which would set, which would just dice them. Okay, that's understandable. And I'm also surprised that that fire can stay on that long within this water. Okay. And. Why would she jump down? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna head for that big hole, because since that seems like the way out. Yeah, so it's not like I'm gonna head that way. I'm gonna head this, to this big hole, but I bet that hole right in front of me is gonna block, because it's, yeah. Oh, look, I call it, and I'm gonna pull. Pull then. And I know, anyway, this seems like an easy way out of this game. Block. They always try and do that in games. So, like, the simplest way, so they just make you favor and favor into the game, okay then. There's another one at the top, so we must be we head towards this one. Oh no, there's two. Okay, no. So that's just a light to like add atmosphere to this game. See, I just dropped the torch by now. I just said fuck it with, with this torch. It's just like, still me at this point. This bastard's still fucking behind me. Yeah, I needed to do that. He's not trying to help me. He's like trying to molest me, probably. Damn. And you fail. Can you fail? Alright. Alright, so now what am I doing? Jump? Yes, jump. Did you you seriously let go of the torch? No. You could have done this the entire from the beginning. Oh, right. So this is a quick time event, another quick time event. I hope this game isn't mostly quick time events. That'd annoy me. Right, is it that? Okay. It tells me which way to go, so I guess I can't fail. Unless I look unless I'm delayed. Uh so right. Uh, see if we can scramble all the way up. Intense music. Music is intense right here. Oh, can we fail? Did we actually fail that? Did we? Oh, I thought it was a death scene then. I thought we just did fail that. I'd be funny if we failed it. Tutorial level, we failed it. <laughs> you look like shit. It's a nice island though. Okay. So we've got a few planes. So how are the planes brought down then? So Okay, so where's like the really rough sea that like, brought the boat in the first time? Because all I see is like a really nice looking sea now. Like there's no rough sea and there's an X oh and it's also an XP system. See I don't see this. But wait, is that it over the corner actually? It's like a boat towards the back there. See, I don't see the uh, endurance. Oh, I don't see this rough sea that we could call it. Okay, then I don't get this game. It's a really nice looking sea game though. Never made for like a three year old game, it's a nice looking game. I just. No, no sprint. Okay, we'll just take a slow jog. Nice. The lifeboat! How do you know it's a lifeboat from Hey, do they know she's... Uh, I'll get my to bear in some How does she know that's a lifeboat from the Endurance and not a lifeboat from someone else? Because someone else? there's a lot of guys on the island, as we've already seen this one guy who tried to kill us already. Sign of life. Search for trace of other survivors. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, now I can climb. Right. Please don't say I have to walk across this log, because it looks like it's really, like, mossy. And if you ever try to walk on a mossy log, okay. this slippery as fuck. And they place the camera so you're looking down with this huge ass fucking drop. It's like this game is trying to trigger you. What I say, it would try and trigger you. <laughs> I called it. Called it. The game would trigger you. Awesome. And stab right at the end. So snaps as you climb over so you climb back. That's actually a pretty cool thing. Alright, so. Alright. So it looks like there's. somewhere. Oh, we can actually drop down there. But we don't want to drop down there since just, it will just slow us down anyway. It's a really nice sun. It's a really nice sun. Picture actually. It's actually a nice view. Okay. Let's head in mainland. And. 
blame that thing. Okay. Crows are now usually a good sign in the game. It usually means there's death nearby. Right, so. Let's see if they. You can do this. Yeah, you can grab metal that's been near water. Yeah, I told you. You can grab metal that's been near water for a long time. Okay, I'm really good at this. So, that's actually a pit that reminds me of a lot of it. Enchanted 2, where you have to climb beside the train. So, oh, that's actually another game I really want to play on the channel now. Since they released the second, uh, second one, it was the third. Fourth? Yeah, Enchanted 4. I really want to play that game. I'm going to wait to the. I'm going to bring it. I'm going to buy the game for it. And then Enchanted 4. Because they a bunch of games I actually want to play again. And see what they look like remastered. Don't look down. Right. So. Okay, so it's quite. So this game could be quite bright. Since it's quite a bright game already. I can't see again too worrying if it's going to be this bright for the entire game. Sam's pack. How do you, can you tell it's Sam's pack? I don't even know which one's Sam's pack. Oh, it's the one with a huge beam of light. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, good idea. Just call for Sam in the middle of a like, forest with people who are trying to kill you. Call for someone. Yeah. <laughs> that camera doesn't work after what I've just seen at the beginning of this game. And nor do those matches. I don't know about walkie talkies, I'm not Sam? sure about like, the distance what? you get on walkie talkies when it comes to water. Can anyone hear me? Got to find them. So why not just keep the bag and like walk around with the bag? Have like an Indiana Jones looking bag thing? Like satchel, or even grab the bottles of water and food. We'll just set up camp here and wait for them to come back. Right. Okay. Uh, right. So the game. Why did it also get really dark? It was like really dark then. It's like sunlight, darkness. It's like wow. Thank you. Sign of life. Take shelter from the storm. You mean the storm that was all of a sudden just randomly appeared? It was like, because I was just back there, I was in like Sunshine Happy Land. Now it's like storms, you're gonna die. You know, prepare your anus, so we're going to dry living li land. <laughs> it's like, welcome to nature, bitch! <coughs> okay. So we got a fire pit. And uh, that's not bad. So there's a few logs. And it's a nice place because it's already sheltered from water. This is a good place. Good place to camp. Set camp. Not like the game's giving me any other place to set camp. But is anyone listening? Please respond. No one's gonna respond if you keep your finger on the trigger while you're speaking, <laughs> while you're waiting for someone, because it. It means you're still trying to talk. You're not gonna receive anything if you still get your finger on the button. Okay, the odds in this, the odds in here being able to light this match. If she, if she's able to do this, I call this game in my favor. Oh, that is it. I can do this game without, like, with my eyes closed. Because the odds in that match still working after not only being like sunk to the bottom of the ocean in a leather bag. Oh shit! Apparently we're getting old. Apparently we're getting signal, even though that thing shows full bad signal already. That's a weird. That's a weird walkie-talkie. I've never seen a walkie-talkie that shows signal. But that's just me. I've never actually. Huh. You joke me that the camera actually works. The camera can't work after that long. But let's see how much battery this thing has. Here's the soon to be world famous archaeologist, Lara Croft, in her native habitat. She's on the hunt for the lost kingdom of Yamatai, home to the fabulous Himiko, mythical Sun Queen, and ancestor of yours truly. <laughs> Sam. This is serious. Oh, sweetie, I know. I'm just trying to lighten the mood here. Everyone's so on edge. What are you so worried about? I'm close to something. 
I'm sure of it. I just don't know if the others will listen. Or even if they should. Lara, you know this stuff better than anyone. Seriously, I'm not just saying this to make you feel better. I trust you, Roth trusts you, you got this. Now let's take a break, okay? Okay, okay. And Sam, thanks. She's not always this serious, you know? Come on, tackle him! No, no, it's your chance! How can you suggest I'm not serious about this expedition, Laura? It's not just Sam's family funding us, I put my savings on the line too. We've all got some kind of stake in this. The funding won't last forever, Whitman. That's precisely why we should push east, not west. Uh, no one oh, believes Yamata... Oh, no one believes Yamata is that far east. The books simply don't support it. Well, whoever wrote those books never found Yamata. I've talked to Roth about this. There's no point in following in other people's footsteps, Dr. Whitman. I refuse to bet my reputation on your hunch. I'm the lead archaeologist here. And when were you last in the field with a TV crew behind you? Got 30 years experience, two PhDs, one in East Asian history. So why don't you just stick to boats, Mr. Grimm? Ship, Dr. Whitman. It's a ship. You don't need a PhD to know Look, that. Going east will take us directly into the Dragon's Triangle. That's where we need to go. <sighs> Lara, my little bird. I'd follow you almost anywhere, but that place has a bad energy. Bad storms, more like, makes the Bermuda Triangle look like Disney World. <laughs> Sign me up. The stories about Queen Himiko say she could summon storms. Myths are usually based on some version of the truth. What if Yamatai was somewhere in the triangle itself? Well, look, this is the satellite imagery from inside the Dragon's Triangle. That doesn't look good. If it's wet, I can sail on it. Oh, don't tell me you're seriously Enough. cons... Reyes is right. We don't have the funds to piss about. It's now or never. Lara's offering fresh ideas and a plan. I'm the captain here. It's my decision. We're going into the Dragon's Triangle. Why am I even here? This is wild. Search your food. I've got to find something to eat. So at least uh, we got a bit of backstory on the crew and how they actually got come to coming towards this island, and it shows like a few characters and how their backstory is gonna come. In, mo in all honesty, I'm gonna find that that white Whitman guy, the one with the glasses, the blonde guy with the glasses. I think he's gonna be quite a bitch of the story. He's gonna be like the bitchy character of the story. Like he's gonna be like the first time he comes into trouble, he's gonna surrender or something like that. And the wrath guy, the cap, the one who's like, I'm the captain. He's gonna seem like a complete badass by the end of this game. So, hopefully he doesn't die near the beginning of the game. I'd, I'd cry if he be, if he dies near the beginning of the game. But that Whitman guy, he's gonna look like he's gonna be kind of a pain, because he looks like a bitchy character. So let's go hunt for some food. See what we can do. Also, that camera only had like 44 minutes of uh, battery left. And the clip, I think the the movie they had recorded was 55 minutes, so I don't know how we're gonna watch it all. Oh, I was like, I know it's in cut corner, isn't it? Wait, I can use that bow. Why would they leave a bow strapped to the guy? Why would they leave a bow strapped to the guy like who's dead already? Like that's a weapon you could use, even if you have a gun. Arrows are easier to make than bullets. So why would they leave that dead guy with a bow? Because there's no way like he hung himself by his feet, because his hands are bound. Right, so I'll wait till he comes over and then I'll grab it. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Dad, face them. Damn. Really? It's not like he's gonna come up and like try and eat you. It's not some zombie survival game. Or is it? Let's see if Actually, that would be cool. Works. Just remember Roth's train. All LT you can have the best and, uh, technique in the world, fire. but it won't okay. mean a thing Ooh, if you can't here. focus. Ooh, the key should be using up. any weapon right. is focus. focus. Um, it's a truck. So, so there's a trail here. Let's do it. I need right. to find something to eat. What's this? Oh, that's not what I want to do. This is right here. 25 XP. 
it. It happened again. Private Kosuke. He was on gate duty last night. No one heard anything. And this morning, they found his helmet. Nothing else. No tracks of his leaving. No blood. No shell casings. Nothing. The others are talking about Chinese partisans. Maybe even American GIs. Damn fools! They have no idea what's happening here. It is the Oni who stalk us. The restless, evil spirits. They live in the old places of this island. We are trespassers here. And they are watching us. Waiting. All these wrecks, the ruins, this entire island is a graveyard. It's only a matter of time. The Oni will come for us. Okay, so this is one out of six wartime intelligence, and it's a soldier who speaks about the Oni Stoker. From the diary of the soldier, he mentions Oni, demons from Japanese folklore. But what could it really be? Well, he seems really focused on this being a Japanese demon, so... And Tomb Raider isn't a game that will shy away from having, like, mythology and like folklore in the game so I'm pretty sure it is actually gonna be some sort of demon I'm actually gonna have to at one point fight some sort of demon since any game I'm trying to think of by the Tomb Raiders have some sort of supernatural enemy oh oh Bambi you are fucked I am so sorry Bambi oh oh he made a mistake oh well well, Bambi's fucked anyways. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oops. Die, Bambi, die. Wait, it's still alive? I shot it in the face. How could it still be alive? I made sure I, like, made sure it hit it in the face so that thing wouldn't feel the pain. And in... Oh, she doesn't, have, she doesn't have a knife, so she'd have to use an arrow tip. I was like, oh, why didn't she just use a knife? And then I realized she doesn't have one. She didn't come prepared like Nathan Drake does. <laughs> ah, she did come sugar wrapped. Why are they? I don't understand why games start doing like the really heart wrenching like music, like really sad music. It's like if you're stuck on a des if you're stuck on a on an island and you've got no food, you're gonna kill the animals on this island to tweet. All right, all right. You won't always have some fancy gadget to tell you where you are. If you can learn to read the land and the stars, you'll always be able to find your way home. Okay. Where'd the bird go? Where'd the bird go? I can hear it. Where is it? I had it right to my side just a minute ago. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, missed it. I won't. I'll walk back up this way because it's definitely this way I had to here. Since, yeah, return to boot camp, uh, base camp. That's what's definitely said. So. Ooh, I can dodge attacks. Or oh, crawl, dodging. <gasps> she rolls. Do do. Alright, let's just do this. Ooh. I was gonna roll off the engine. Oh, can I? Hey, if I back, can I actually go? Can I? Alright, let's see how far back you can actually go. Um, okay, we're gonna go this far back. Okay, that's un that's understandable. Seems like there's probably nothing else back here. Just check using this. Oh, there's actually there's something back here. Ghost Hunter. Challenge unlocked. Complete for XP. Okay, so there's something I can complete for XP. Totem Destroyer. So there's a totem. Okay, so there's going to be a few of those scattered around probably. Oh, I got spend skill point in skill ma uh, menu to upgrade ability. Animal instincts keep keen observant allows you to spot hard to find animals and food sources. Survivalist, an extra reward when looting animal corpses and food caches. The thoroughly searches ca uh, crates and caches for extra salvage. That might actually be helpful. Bone collection, animal corpses, or oh, archery. Oh, I see quite a lot of arrows around, but I'm going to do that extra, like, advanced scavenging, since that seems quite helpful at the moment. 
Uh, I'm just gonna guess, anyways. All right. So. Ooh. This is Conrad Ross, yeah. captain of the Endurance. We are shipwrecked on an island inside the Dragon's Triangle. Ross, Lara. you're alive. Easy, easy. Are you okay? What happened? I remember the beach, and then it went black, and I woke up in a cave. There was this crazy man, Ross, and a dead body. Oh God. Where are you now, Lara? Are you safe? It was so horrible. It's all my fault. This is all my fault. Lara, listen to me. I sent an SOS from the Endurance before I abandoned her. Hopefully someone caught it. I've spoken to the others. We're regrouping at my location. Please come and get me. I have to stay here. You can do this, Lara. Remember when we climbed Snowden? You said the key was knowing that all you've got to do is just keep moving. Remember everything I've taught you, Lara. You're ready for this. And keep your radio on. Okay. Okay, so it turns out that Roth has already sent an SOS from the Endurance. That's a good thing. So it looks like the we could get off the island a lot quicker than we hope. Music. Oh shit, there is music, yeah. That was kind of creepy, I just <laughs> I was in the middle of talking and all of a sudden I could just hear music. Okay. So Roth sent in a letter off the insurance and we find out that she already climbed Mount Everest. Or Snowden, Mount Snowden actually. So maybe that is in, I think that's in actually Rise of the Tomb Raider. So maybe this is a sequel, maybe this is the sequel to it. But anyways, um, this is part being part one of Tomb Raider since I'm gonna just call this every fire I get to is gonna be my checkpoint and where I'm gonna end each episode. But this is gonna be the end of part one. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. Uh actually Yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. This has been Raptor with a shotgun, signing off. Peace out. Hey, thanks for watching. This is Raptor with a shotgun, signing off.